Hi guys, uh, now I will explain how to install Python in Windows machine. First of all, we can go to Python official website, python.org. Here you can see all the releases. And 3.13.3 .3 is the latest version. If you want to download latest version, simply you can click on this. Or else if you want to download a specific version, simply you can click on this Windows. Here, list of different release versions available, okay? Uh, whatever the version you want to install, simply you can click on Windows Installer. Before that, you can check compatibility version of your system. That means your laptop. Uh, it's a 64-bit or 32-bit. Okay, based on that, you can install. For me, it's a 64-bit. If I want to install this 3.12.0, simply I'm clicking on this. Okay, here, yeah, 3.12.10.exe file was installed in my machine okay i'm opening in explorer okay yeah you can see here if i am simply double click on this you can see this okay uh, if you want to install the specific path provided by python simply you can click on install now or else if you want to install a customized installation path you can simply select and uh, uh, default you can check everything okay pip and documentation everything you can check okay next simply you can click on next okay here also you can check everything environment variables and uh, debugging symbols everything you can check okay simply here if you want to provide a specific path you can provide by using the browse option or else if it is not required simply you can install Python will automatically install in your system. Okay, this is the method for installation of the Python. For me, it's already installed, so I'm not clicking install button. Simply, I'm canceling here. Okay, are you sure want to cancel? Simply, I'm canceling. After that, how you can check Python was installed or not in your machine? How you can check? Okay, by using command prompt. Simply, you can go to command prompt. How you can go to command prompt? I'll show you. Okay go to search bar type cmd this is the command prompt type pyton python so this is the specific version installed in my machine if i want to exit simply i can exit from this method yeah this is the way we can check python is installed or not and we can check pip also okay uh, pip is very important uh, for installing any kind of the module pip okay pip install if we want to install any kind of specific module module i'll explain about modules further uh, python modules are useful for specific use case purpose uh, if you want to install any kind of specific module by using pip install command we will install the specific package or specific module okay while installing any kind of module uh, your laptop must and should be connected to the internet that is very important okay here uh, how you can install a specific module i'll show you pip install if you want to install numpy or panda simply you can install by using this command pip install numpy for me um, requirement already satisfied that means uh, the module is already available in my machine that's why it's showing like this okay and here uh, i would like to say one more thing also okay python was installed and for coding purpose um, we need any one of the ide for development purpose ide means integrated development environment in market we have a lot of tools for example visual studio code and pycharm and spider and jupyter so such kind of things will be helpful for uh, developing python code here uh i'll show you how to install jupyter notebook we need not to install anaconda prompt for this by using python module only we can install jupyter notebook how i'll show you pip install notebook for me it's already installed but uh, i'll show you okay pip install notebook okay for me it's a requirement already satisfied if you type it will take some time for installing all the binary all the binaries after that if you want to launch jupyter notebook how you can launch by using this command python hyphen m 
notebook. Yeah, here you can see, yeah, uh, it's opening in web browser. Uh, this folder I have already created, Python practice, or else if you want to create a new folder, you can simply create by using this method, okay? Simply click on new, here you can see, okay? I'm going to Python practice. Here, if you have already a Jupyter notebook, you can simply upload here, or else uh, you can create a Jupyter notebook here, okay? It's an untitled, you, if you want to give any kind of name, for example, I am giving first, yeah, rename, it's renamed to first, okay. If you want to type anything, I'm simply typing print hello, okay, control, enter, yeah, hello, or else if you click on shift, enter, it will run and it will create another cell or else you can run by using this command also you can run all the cells or if you want to remove you can remove by using this scissor symbol okay by using this method okay we can launch jupyter notebook this very helpful for launching jupyter notebook by using the python so if we want to shut down this jupyter notebook how we can shut down simply we can come to command prompt and uh, type uh, control C. Okay, you can see it's uh, interrupted and uh, shutting down. After shutting down, if you want to launch a Jupyter notebook, it won't work because uh, the kernel, it's already shut down. You can see it won't work. So yeah, this is the guys, how we can install Python and how we can use Jupyter notebook. Yeah, thank you guys. Stay tuned for more content.